So let me sell all this stuff, and then we can make our way east, which will trigger the cutscene. Okay, I sold everything else off. Uh, I am on my, yeah, number one. And I did not buy any potions here in town. There's a very good reason for that, and something that we'll go over uh, very quickly. Don't need to, to replenish that here. Instead, let us yes. go east. Uh, we did loot um, in Dario's lair for everything that was worth, so we are ready. traveled east, over the mountains and into the vast deserts of broken lands. As the days passed, my companion told me of himself, that he had once been a great warrior, and that a dark and secret burden now weighed heavily upon him. We traveled for an eternity across that barren wasteland. How long? I couldn't say. And always, a dark cloud seemed to follow us just over the horizon. Finally, the journey ended. We climbed the last bridge. And there below us lay our destination. The shining jewel root lane with a great sea beyond. We made camp that last night. Perhaps it was the warm desert wind or the sound of the ocean, but for the first time in many weeks, I slept. However, the dreams returned, but these were clearly not my own. I beheld the vision of a great man, the mage, Talrasha. You were there too, Tyrael. I remember seeing you in my dream. His brethren had cornered a great demon, Baal, the Lord of Destruction, who had been set loose upon the world. They attempted to imprison the demon within a sacred stone. Yet when their attempts failed, Talrasha selflessly volunteered to contain the demon within himself, completing the prison. He instructed his brethren to bind him within a tomb, buried under the sand, there to wrestle with the demon for all eternity. Set out with the dawn. The next morning, we walked over the hill toward Lutgulain. I had no idea then of the horrors that were in store for me there. And we've okay. made it to Lutgulain. Let's uh, let's look around just a little bit. What's up, Jerhin? Jerhin? I think it's a. I think it's Jerin. Greetings, honored traveler. I am Jerin, Lord of Lutgolain, and I bid you welcome to my fair port city. I am glad to know that once again caravans are free to travel through the Western Pass. For some time now, we have been under siege by an evil power that I cannot identify. Strange. It all began when a dark wanderer came this way looking for the tomb of Talrasha. No one knows exactly where Talrasha, Keeper of Baal, is entombed, but it is certain to be far out in the desert. Now my people whisper tales of the dead rising from their tombs, and horrible creatures lurking amongst the moonlit dunes. Even I have witnessed things which I cannot explain. I've ordered the port closed and all trade ships moored until I am sure that my city is safe. Atma, the tavern keeper, has an important mission for you. Go see her immediately. You'll find her on the other side of town. Now I must return to the palace. I apologize, but I can't invite you in. 
Things are rather a mess right now. So that's Jaren. He pretty much owns this place. Uh, yeah, he won't let us into his palace. Let me bring up the map again. Uh, yeah, for some reason, I had to reload the game what, after after the cutscene. I have to do that sometimes. But uh, let's go talk to Mashif over here. What's up, dude? How you doing? Greetings. I'm Mashif, captain of this ship here. I make port runs around the Twin Seas and occasionally out to Kingsport in Westmarch. I haven't sailed anywhere lately, though. Jaren has ordered me to stay docked here in case of emergency. Right, he's probably going to take us to our next act. Uh, now, for those of you paying attention, you'll notice that Deckard Kane is here with us. Uh, but you'll also notice that, uh, well, Jaren pretty much told us that uh, Tol Rasha is the Keeper of Bale, which is what the cutscene told us as well, and the Dark Wanderer said that that was his brother. There's only two brothers of Bale. Wonder which one he could be. What's up, Deckard Kane? Good to see you. You don't have anything to say. Fine. Then I'm done with you. Uh, yeah, Mashif uh, doesn't do really anything. Uh, Jaren only gives you quests. Atma, pretty much... Well, she gives us a quest right now, just like the guy said. Let's talk to her then. I don't expect this of you, but if you want to help me, I would be grateful. In the sewers below our city, Thilek's a horrid creature that hungers for human flesh. The creature has killed many, including my son and my husband. If you destroy it, I will reward you. Please, be careful though. That beast has taken enough from us already. The sewer entrance is through the trapdoor, just up the street. Oh, she made it so depressing. Yeah, she she doesn't do anything, she just gives you quests. Uh, she gives us our first quest of Act 2. Knows that we don't... We did finish Act 1. Yeah, previous game had to reload. Uh, we, we still haven't finished imbuing an item with magical power. I will try to buy something here for her to imbue. She can only imbue up to a high... Uh, a certain level, and I'm probably going to end up selling it anyway. But yes, uh, we must find Radiment's lair in the Luke Gulane sewers. Because, because that man is very depressing. Now, there is somebody in here that I want to talk to. He's pretty much uh, the comic relief around here. I don't know why you people keep pestering me. Gray's seems to have this place locked down nice and tight. Not that I couldn't have done the same. I've proven my valor in combat plenty of times. In combat? Okay, nicely done. Uh, congratulations on your combat victories. Uh, these are really the people that you want to talk to. Farah here not only sells stuff, she's the one that heals you. I like Farah. Welcome, Brother Paladin. I am Farah. I was once a devout champion of Zakharov. She doesn't have much to say, though. Uh, but looking at her equipment, uh, of course, she's got throwing axes, balanced knives, which are also thrown. You know, there's quantities on those. Uh, yeah, you can swing them if you want, but really they're for throwing. Balanced axe, which are also for throwing if you're freaking strong and dexterous as hell. And uh, short spears, arrows, bolts, usual. We do have some new pole axes. She does specialize in that. She's, we've got Volges, Speedums, I think that's how you say it, Brandistocks. Uh, this is another Speedum. They're kind of hard to tell the difference between a Brandistock and a Speedum, really. This one's got, yeah, I mean, they're pretty much the same thing, just a little different style. Uh, these are deadly as hell, and I don't know how the hell you forge them. These are Chris's. They are actually real life, and I, I assume that they suck, but <laughs> like if you get stabbed by it. Oh my god, that's gotta suck. Uh, claymores, broadswords, longswords, none of which I'm gonna be using. We've got fal falchions still, falchions, I don't know how to say it's still. Uh, battle axes, broad axes, nothing too new. We do have a military pick as well, but what she's really got is new armor. We've got helms and full helms here. Uh, those those are going to be upgrades. Uh, we have seen the ring mail before. Uh, we have seen the scale mail before, I believe. Uh, but the chain mail is new, as well as the breastplates. I'm not strong enough to hold uh, to equip the chain mail yet. I am strong enough for the breastplates. I might move up to that eventually. Do you have... Yeah, durability. It's not worth the money right now. Nothing particularly good here. She also sells kite shields. And then if, if I was so wide, I could repair from her. 
Lysander here. He's your potion seller. How do I know I can trust you? Hmm? You may be as shifty as that pack rat Elzix who runs the inn. But if you need a potion, though, I suppose I can make you one. For a price, of course. <laughs> right. He, yeah, he sells potions. He does sell light stuff, so that is what I'm going to stock up on. Uh, because, well, the rogue encampment only had minor potions. I don't care about that. But he also sells keys um, and thawing potions, antidote potions, and stamina potions. Because I have Death's Hand uh, leather, leather gloves, uh, I don't need to buy the, the antidote potion. Uh, as soon as I get rid of that, though, I might uh, try to keep an antidote potion in stock because lots of things in Act 2 like to poison you, and it sucks. Oh, man, does it suck. Over here we find uh, Jaren's palace. What's up, Kaelin? You a nice guy? You may not pass. No, you are not. He will not let us into the palace, and there's a uh, good reason for that. If we go up here to Elzix... Mmm. You look like a sturdy adventurer. You know, I used to be quite the scoundrel in my day. But I led the fiercest group of bandits who ever terrorized these sands. Nowadays, I run this here in and pretty much stay out of trouble. <laughs> my days of adventuring are behind me. Yeah, sure, sure. You were once a great guy. I'm sure you are. Uh, he sells pretty much the same stuff that we had in the last town, more or less. You know, the small shields and all that. Uh, nothing particularly new. Uh, tridents, I guess, could be new. I don't think we've seen one of those before. Everything else we've seen. Uh, yeah, his stuff pretty much sucks. Uh, but he is the guy that you go to to gamble. Uh, for those of you who don't remember, uh, if you want to gamble, be my guest, uh, waste your money. Um, really, look at that, 50000 for a ring, and it's going to have one to two magic items on it. Occasionally you'll get a yellow item here, but most of the time it's going to be blue. Some of these are just superiors too, so you're going to be wasting your money if you gamble. I mean, look at that. 50,000 for a ring. The ones that I have, my good one, sells for 4,000. The other one sells for 1150. Just not worth it. Not worth it at all. Grease over here. I bet you wonder how this town manages to stay safe with all the trouble going on out in the desert. Well, I can tell you that it's got nothing to do with the local town guards. They're all in the palace for some reason. Jaren hired me and my mercenaries to help keep the peace around here. We're not cheap, but we're the best this wasteland has to offer. Grease is the person that we go to for mercenaries, and these are actually the best mercenaries in the game. Uh, they, ha they come with auras. That is what these are. Combat, offensive, and defensive. I don't remember which one I want off the top of my head, uh, so I will come back and I will tell you guys which one I got. I believe it's combat though, I believe the one that I want is combat, it could be defensive though. Uh, that is the one that I'm going to be going for because of my build. And there's one more person that we need to talk to, the person that I probably will talk to a lot, and this is Drognin, and he's going to have the scepters. You, you guys forgot that we didn't have like a magic uh, weapon seller? That is him. I heard that you are responsible for banishing Andariel back to the Burning Hells. I'm impressed, stranger. That couldn't have been easy. My name is Drognan, and I know what you're up against, my friend. You ought to look over my inventory of items for trade. I will look at your inventory. Inventory. I don't know, it's British. I don't speak British. Uh, he does sell new items that we have not come across yet. He sells bone shields, which we'll be seeing a lot of, and he sells spiked shields. Once again, we will be seeing a lot of them. Now, even though they have spikes on them, they don't deal thorns. Don't don't get it confused. Uh, they're just regular shields. Uh, well, you know, with more defense than what we've got. But I like the, the magic that we got. He also sells Grand Scepters, which is the upgrade for the Scepters that I've been getting. I'll probably buy these somewhere along the line. Once I see uh, one with something that I want, like this Blessed Aim one, I do uh, use Blessed Aim, but it's not something that I'm looking to increase stats for at this time. Now this one, this one's ridiculous, but it says I can't equip it because I'm not a high enough level. 
uh, because it does put uh, points into Vigor, Blessed Aim, and Holy Fire. Holy Fire. But once again, it's just not going to be worth my money. I don't even have this much money. It's over double what I have. So I'm, I'm going to stay away from it. Uh, plus one to Blessed Hammer. That is awesome because I'm very close to learning Blessed Hammer. And uh, when we get there, we get there. So it doesn't look like I'm going to buy anything right now. Uh, plus two to mana after each kill on this Victoria Scepter. That is also awesome. And I would highly recommend it for every every class that uses magic. Uh, anything that uses mana after each kill per hit. Always, always go for that if you can. Uh, he also sells bone wands, U wands. I don't think we've come across U wands yet. Uh, those are upgrade bone wands pretty much. I don't know. Is it even an upgrade? Like, it's not an upgrade... Wait, no, the U ones are worse? The bone ones are the upgrades? Ah, I forget. I also get uh, regular wands. Uh, and then the battle staffs, gnarled staffs. He sells all the magic items that we could come across. He also sells potions, if, if you want to come here instead. But that looks like it's actually going to do it for these parts of Let's Play Diablo 2. When we come back, I will go into the sewers, because that's exactly what I want to do when I go to a new town, especially in the desert, because it's probably going to be hot as hell in those sewers. But we'll take that on next time. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. I've been Baller Scuba. I've been joined, as always, by my paladin. And this is the last time we're going to be seeing Mahala. I am going to take all her stuff away, and I'll come back with somebody with, uh, well with a name that's going to be a lot harder to pronounce than Mahala. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.